Hello everyone, welcome to a mod update for Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. I have updated my Ariane 6 in honor of the fact that they managed to launch it sooner than I thought they would. Actually, I didn't think that they would launch it on the first try. You know how it is. I always suspect that they're going to have to scrub and try again, but they launched it. And uh, there was some anomaly later on, but for the most part, it was successful. And so... I decided to revamp the Ariane 6 that is part of my Real Rockets pack. In honor of that, originally it had the colors from the PR stuff, and so it had like golden stripes and a little bit more of an alternating texture, but now I've got it more like its current texture, which is white. I meant for all of it to be about the same color, but for some reason I've got some discrepancy here. Uh, even though I swear I copied the same material in Substance Painter, and put the same textures and limited stuff on all of it. I'll have to investigate why there's different shades at all. But uh, so there's a minor issue there. In addition to the textures, I also uh, will be replacing this extendable nozzle Vinci engine uh, with a different one. I have added a non-extendable nozzle one so that people can use that, which will be more correct. No extension. So that's the version without an extension. So if you're trying to put it together, maybe I should do it from scratch actually, uh, there's many payload adapters for Ariane 5 which should probably work the same way, but I thought I had a payload adapter for this Ariane 6. Oh, there's a Prometheus adapter. Maybe I'm getting confused with the adapter for Prometheus. So you can convert it to a Prometheus, it'll have the Prometheus engines and all that business. But anyway, the first stage tank is like this. If you like the older textures, the ones that were fancier, I've put them in the folder under alternate textures, but I haven't made a texture replacer thing for it, uh, just to keep things simple. So you can just copy them over if you want those. And generally I think having separatrons for this stage is a good idea. They're not built in. I don't know where they have them on the real thing. So I do have little separation motors there, and then the decouplers, I'll just put this on from scratch, I think. These just surface mount. There's no uh, points on here to attach them to. And then the booster core is what you want. And that will snap to that node there, like so. And then the booster nose cone. And we have to slide it so that the stripes line up. So after that, so we've got the Vulcan engine, decouplers, the boosters, booster nose cone, first stage, and then the second stage, and any sort of payload adapter you want here. The payload in this case is the 1.6 tons they had on the test. And then we also have the fairings that come with the mod Ariane 6 fairings and those fairings go on the second stage attached like that do not put them on the payload adapter if you're using a procedural payload adapter don't put them on that the upper stage comes with rcs the uh, volcano engine is down here volcano 2 and the new vinci engine even though it doesn't have, have the extendable nozzle it has the same stats uh, the extendable nozzle version and the non-extendable nozzle version has the same stats because I don't know what the other stats would be like. Uh, I could maybe calculate it, but you know, those things get close to a serious point of uncertainty. So, Okay, we need the Vulcan engine first. So Vulcan engine first, the clamps plus not those, plus the booster cores, and then the decouplers and then the nose cones and that should be enough you don't have to put extra separatrons on the boosters and then fairings and then the first stage so fairings first stage plus separatrons then the Vinci engine uh, plus the RCS plus the RCS and then the payload adapter so reviewing the staging uh, Vulcan, boosters plus launch clamps, booster nose cone plus booster decouplers, the fairings, the first stage plus any separatrons, the RCS and the engine on the second stage, and then the payload adapter. Okay, 
so that should do it. Let's take it outside. This has plenty of energy to deal with the 1.6 ton demonstration payload they had, of course. I'm not doing all the burns, we're just gonna see it launch and make sure that that's all right. I tried to update the Kuru scenery, but I just don't have better resolution stuff for Kuru. I wish they made better resolution stuff for Kuru, but I, I couldn't get it. Uh, I'll try just sort of screenshotting Google Maps maybe, that maybe that's the best way to go. We are going to use KOS to control it. But yeah, the difference between the second stage and the first stage in terms of the shading is a little bit weird. I mean, from this side it doesn't look too bad, right? The Kuru scenery, I mean. But you do have to make sure you don't angle it this way. The landscape over here was truly horrible as far as the aerial photography or photo scenery was concerned. So again, this rocket is part of the Real Rockets pack. It'll be version 0.8.3. I'll link it in the video description. And the main differences are the new textures and the different Vinci model. The original model is still there. Before somebody asks me for waterfall things, I'll consider it, but it's like I'm gonna have to do all the engines at the same time or something. I'm just gonna have to sit down and devote a day to updating all the bloody plumes for the waterfall stuff. Uh, otherwise, I don't even know which one I would prioritize or anything like that. This is gonna have to have a waterfall day. So just, just don't bother me about that for now. The stats for everything are as good as I could get them. I reviewed the numbers. There are still uncertainties, but there are a lot of numbers known for Ariane 6. Certainly more than some other launchers. I didn't catch the exact time for booster separation on the webcast. I've got uh, where you see it, 2 minutes and 22 seconds, but it could be a little bit earlier. Uh, the problem was that they had a replay camera for the boosters. Uh, the original camera didn't seem to have the clock on, and then the replay camera had the clock, but it was a replay camera, so it was like maybe 5-10 seconds late. Uh, we already knew that the boosters had gone off by then, and then they showed the boosters go off with the clock. But it's around there. <laughs> it's, the boosters go off around there. Okay, fairing sep. That's just set to altitude. I don't think I have it on a particular timing. I think it was just set to 120 kilometers. I did not double check when they actually did it, but they certainly do it before they separate the first stage. Well, it's, it's doing a very Ariane sort of thing to do as far as the pitch is concerned. And it seemed like they were going about ISS inclination wise. So I've set it to the ISS inclination 51 point six degrees and so it's going to that inclination right now and so our path the path is looking like that which seemed to be close to the track I didn't get a read on exactly what inclination they were headed to but this looks about like what they were doing maybe they had a little bit more inclination but I think probably matching the ISS is a good thing to do Okay, getting ready for staging here. Oh, it got knocked a little bit. Oh, it takes some time to ignite that engine. Wonder why it got knocked a little bit though. I recommend maybe having the RCS on before the engine ignition. So when that separates, maybe I should put the RCS on right away, just to maintain stability. Altitude-wise, we're probably doing close to what they had. I thought about putting the launch video in with this launch to compare, and I might still do that. But since I had to discuss the mod and the update and everything, I decide not to do that in this video because that probably should be more of a cinematic thing. 
Oh, well, um, it seems like part of the mesh did not come through or accidentally deleted it, uh, which is sort of a shield that is right right after the throat, right where the more metallic portion ends and the darker portion begins. There is a little shield there, and I had that, but I think I lost it somewhere along the way. So there might be another update for DaVinci Engine eventually. I set the orbital parameters to what seemed to be the low point and high point in the orbits that they had. And so they seem to be hanging around, I think the bottom was actually like 333 kilometers or something like that. Okay. And... Again, we're uh, going for the higher apoapsis here directly. Okay. There we go. So I told it to go to about 600, and that is the orbit we have. Of course, we have a lot of delta V left since it was only carrying 1.6 tons. And well, maybe I should deorbit it. The one thing that they were not able to do. The engine, I gave it 20 ignitions, so it's pretty darn useful. Okay, selling the fuel down and ignition. All right, it will definitely be disposed of. So there we have it. Uh, hopefully they'll fix the auxiliary propulsion unit and everything will go exactly according to plan next time. But for now, in honor of their the success as far as they were successful uh, of the first test of Ariane 6, uh, the link will be in the video description for the real rockets pack. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.